Please don't forget to like this video and if you haven't done so already, click the subscribe button, then click the bell and then click all. Every like and subscribe helps us make more great videos for you. Okay, so Microsoft have released this great little tool which basically quickly checks the health of your PC. It tells you things like the available memory, the hard drive space and the age of the PC. You can also see the storage capacity percentage, the start up time, the last Windows update and the backup and sync status. As an addition, if you're running Windows 10, it will also tell you if your PC is compatible with Windows 11. So how do you get this tool? All you need to do is open up your browser. Now in this example, I'm gonna open up Microsoft Edge. And once it's open, go to the address bar at the top of the screen, not the search bar in the middle of the screen, but the address bar right at the top, okay? If there's anything in there, delete it out, and then you need to type in this address here. That's https colon forward slash forward slash www.majorgeeks.com forward slash files forward slash details forward slash windows underscore pc underscore health underscore check dot html. Now, if you're having trouble following this, then I will try and put this link in the description of this video. But if I can't, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to come back, pause this video at this point, okay, write this down and type it in. Now, if this doesn't come up, it means you've typed the address in incorrectly. Give it another go. So once you've typed it in, press enter or return on your keyboard. And then like me, you should see the Windows PC health check page at Major Geeks appear. Move your mouse over download now. Oh, if you get this, uh, we value your privacy, then you can obviously go in and uh, choose your options there if you want, or you can agree if you feel like you agree. So uh, I'm gonna reject all and then save and exit there on that. So all I do is I'm just gonna click on this download now, just here, and then hopefully after five seconds, the download should start. If it doesn't, then it says click here if it does not. So uh, there you go, mine's actually started. I can see in the top right hand corner of the screen, it's now downloading. And there you go, mine's now downloaded. Now it might take a few extra seconds for the virus checker to kick in and just scan the file. So just be patient with it at the moment whilst we've got figures just underneath there. And there we go, mine has actually downloaded there. You can see that because it's got open file underneath it, I'm using Edge. So if you're not using Edge, then uh, you might have something different there. So all you do is just click on that file or click on open. So let's just do that. If you can't click on the file or click on open, then what you need to do is you need to go to any yellow folder on your PC, okay? And then when the yellow folder comes up on the left, click on downloads and you should see in there Windows PC health check, just double click on that. And then you should be at the same point I'm at now where you're reading the agreement. So check through the agreement, make sure that you're happy with it as you always do. Click on the little box there to the left of I accept the terms in the license agreement and then click on install. Now, this bit might take a few minutes, just depends on the speed of your computer. There you go, mine's done. So you've got an option here to add a shortcut to your desktop if you want to, that's entirely up to you. I've just ticked it, so I've got a shortcut there. Make sure that open Windows PC health check is ticked and then click on finish. Okay, so as you can see here, I've got a heart now flashing at the bottom of the screen. So all I do is I just click on that heart and there we go, it gives us a, a PC health at a glance. So uh, it gives us an option here to see whether the PC meets the requirements of Windows 11. It's telling me here on the left hand side, the PC's name. It's saying that I've got a 54 gigabyte SSD drive and it's telling me my computer is 14 years old, so quite old. Okay, so and it's also telling me that um, I haven't got backup and sync running on there. Now, obviously, if you don't subscribe to OneDrive, you only get, I think it's about five gigabytes of OneDrive space. So if you do turn that on, you're gonna run out of sync space anyway. I don't have backup and sync or I don't have OneDrive, so uh, not worth me turning that on because I know I've definitely got more than five gigabytes worth of files on my computer. So it's just gonna fill it up. So there's no point in turning that on. So down here, there you go. It tells us that Windows update is good and it was last checked on uh, Thursday. 
and uh, the battery capacity is 100%. Storage capacity, 55% full, and start up time, let's go to see details there and see what it says. So it says start up times and vary and depend on how many apps you have installed, the speed of your processor and the kind of storage you have. So you've got an option here to manage your startup program. So you can click on that and there you go. It shows you all the programs that are starting with Windows and you've got the option there to turn them on or off. So as I say, it gives us the option to check whether our PC is compatible with Windows 11. So I can click check now. And there we go. So mine doesn't currently meet the Windows 11 system requirements. And I can obviously look down the list there and uh, see the reasons why. And I can click on see all results to uh, see more results there, even the good ones. I can also click on device specifications here. And that really doesn't tell me a lot to be quite honest with you there. It just says your PC will not run Windows 11 and no specifications. So a bit strange that, that button, but anyway. So there you go. That is a great little app, which just gives you a glance over the health of your PC. So if you're thinking to yourself, have I got enough memory? You know, is, is my hard drive big enough? Then uh, what you can do is you can uh, load up this app and uh, you know, you can check down this list here. Now we can close it down by clicking on the cross in the top right hand corner. And now we want to delete this Windows PC health check setup file now that we've uh, installed it. So let's just close down the browser by clicking on the cross in the top right hand corner of the screen. Go into any yellow folder and then go into downloads just on the left there. Find Windows PC Health Check Setup. Click on it once and then press the delete key. And there you go. It goes. So there you go. Hope this guide helps. And if you did and you think your friends might like it, then please share this video on your social media timelines. Also, if you like the video, please click on that like button. It really helps us. Thanks very much for watching and if you haven't done so already, don't forget to subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter at CWTech, that's at CWTech on Twitter. And don't forget to check out my other videos in my YouTube channel, just Google Chris Waite YouTube. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for your support.